Hello and welcome to my Shorts Energy Services based in Bradford in the UK. A big thank you to all the new subscribers. By subscribing to this channel, we'll teach you everything that we've learned over the years about your Nissan Navara. Now, I often, often get asked about torque settings. So, this particular torque setting is for the YD25 engine from 2002 right up to 2015 because the torque settings are exactly the same. Now, this particular engine is out of a Nissan Navara and I'm about to do the torque settings on the big ends and the mains. Now, on the mains, you do two settings on the 10 bolts, and them settings are 29 newton meters and 90 degrees. So I've set the torque wrench at 29 newton meters. I always start at number one cap. Now this torque wrench is quite good because it's got what's called a traffic light system. The moment that I hit the, the green light, it knows that's perfect. Right, so that's all torqued to 29 newton meters. The next thing I'm gonna do is the angle, which is 90 degrees, yeah? 90 degrees is like a quarter turn if you haven't got a torque wrench like I've got. Oh. Let's say itself. That's the only problem with digital. I'll do that bolt again in a minute because I did turn it a bit, just so I can show you. So there you go, bang on 90 degrees. And that's the same for all the bolts. I'm not gonna bore you to death with this one. Right, the next torque setting is the big ends. Now the big ends, again, make sure that you start at number one. Right, the first torque setting, is 30 newton meters. So I'm set at 30 newton meters. Now the reason why there's, there's two settings is, is if you fit new Conrod bolts, is basically that's making sure that the bolts are lifted completely up. So the second, so what I've got to do now is I've got to slacken off 360. So it's left for Lucy, right for tighty. So we undo it to the left, anti-clockwise. Yep, so it's 360, anti-clockwise. Yeah, and now I can set the torque setting. So the torque setting is 20 newton meters. Fantastic. And make sure that you do them all. Right, the next and final setting is 125 degrees. We'll just let it set, because it's digital.
Well, there you go. And then you just move on to the others. Now you don't have to have one of these to be able to do that torque setting. You can buy a 15 pound dial gauge that goes on a cracking bar. So you can do this job yourself quite easily. Machine mark, 15 quid. Right. I need to go subject a little bit with you, give you guys. Now it's becoming rather apparent to us here in the UK that we are going through huge problems, not only with the engines, with the Nissan Navara and the Pathfinder, but with the chassis. Yes, chassis. Chassis slapping clean in half. So we're basically we've got um, a company called Decra Inspections who are working for Nissan, ex inspecting Nissan chassis on Nissan's behalf. And on Tuesday, they're coming here and spending the whole day inspecting all the vehicles that we have here. Now we have a camera system all around the workshop, all around the outside of the workshop. So I'm gonna be sharing with you exactly what we see that Nissan are instructing these people to do regarding the Nissan chassis. So watch out for his next channel. It's very important for everybody right around the world because it's become apparent to us that the, the Navaras and the, the Nissans built in Spain were poor and the ones that built in Thailand were a lot better. So wherever you are in around the world, you need to know where your Nissan Frontera or Nissan Navara was built and you need to deal with the issues. So come again on Tuesday, give us a like, subscribe to his channels and find us on Facebook.